Ladies and gentlemen, this game to the come video ahead of our full RX 480 graphics card review. We decided to do a test, a comparison against compatibility mode, which was introduced with the 16.7.1 um, Crimson drivers. Now, this mode allows you to reduce the power draw coming from the PCIe slot on the motherboard. And AMD claims that the performance impact is minimal. So let's test it out. We're using a pretty standard uh, benchmarking rig with i7 4770K, 16 gigabytes of memory, the RX 480 Windows 10 for of course DirectX 12 goodness, and as I said, the Crimson 16.71 drivers. All overclocking and fan options were set to default, in other words, no overclocking. Resolution was set to 1080p and all in-game settings were maxed out aside from anti-aliasing which was left to FXAA or SMAA or what have you. As I said, the only option that was changed was compatibility mode. Very early testing of compatibility mode has been very positive. You'd be very hard pressed to see the difference between enabling or disabling it in terms of impact to the frame rate. There is definitely a very slight disadvantage when you um, do enable compatibility mode, but generally it's within the margin of error of benchmarks. I will say that the 16.7.1 drivers themselves do have a slight performance advantage anyway, around 3 to 4%. Um, and this is based upon my own testing with the card before the dr new drivers have dropped versus afterwards. Uh, people who've been following me on Facebook, Twitter, or if you've been watching our previous videos, you'll know that I've been playing around with the RX 480 a little bit in the background. With all of that said, when we do perform a full review of the card, there is an awful lot of stuff that we need to test with compatibility mode. For example, does it make a difference if you're trying to um, overclock the card all the way to the stratosphere? Um, how much more stable are the boost clocks and does it make differences, for example, with power targets and all of the other stuff that you can imagine? And of course, naturally, we'll add more games into the benchmarking mix to see how things change up. After all, we could not include a massive selection of games in this because it is just a preview, and we've only had a limited amount of time since compatibility mode has dropped. While this is not a review um, as such, I am very impressed with the RX 480 thus far, and I think for the price point, it's startling the sheer amount of performance and frames that this card manages to throw out. Anyway, I'm going to leave you to just watch on with the rest of the video. But if you've enjoyed it, definitely do subscribe. Um, we've got a hell of a lot more reviews coming up over the next couple of weeks. Um, graphics cards, processors, um, SSDs, motherboards, goodness knows what else, plus as well some technical analysis stuff that I'm working on in the background, which has been slightly delayed simply because of the sheer number of reviews that we've been asked to uh, do recently. Although the RX 480, just to clarify, is not a review sample. I repeat, we were not given the RX 480. Uh, we actually bought it a bit early because we were a little bit further down on the list with the RX 480 because it was so damn popular. So the RX 480 is not a review sample. Anyway, with all of that said, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye for now.